One photo. For posterity. Alright, let's look at this. Photo! Dark room! We just have the one of the Chloe. We haven't really been taking too many pictures. Apparently we have one of a skating one. We got the rocks. We got a heart with a cat thing. What? <laughs> Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. I hope nothing is the last here. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real my ass. I think everything is changing here. As a scientist, I'm fascinated. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for each other these days. Hey you two! How are you guys getting along? That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Good to see you out and about, Max. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Uh, okay, what if it's beyond science? I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Okay, yeah, but time travel is a little bit different than erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about time travel? What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Hmm. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. Yeah, but I imagine that in reality, <laughs> in reality, if you could change time, if you suddenly had the mystic abilities to change time like Max could, I don't think that life would be so committed to making bullshit happen. I mean, you can't stop what happens from happening, right? But at the same time, if you can't stop what happened to happen, then something shouldn't be taking its place, because then that would imply that those random events are more of like a karma-based system, which can't be true. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you, you might be the wisest. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, you're not the best student here. Oh, all right. But you might be the wisest. Uh, it's not that much of a save. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Uh, Blackwell needs help. No thanks. Mm, Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. 
There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. 18 years old is not too young to be cynical. <laughs> Absolutely not. Hey, Sammy. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I always do. How do you feel about the animals, buddy? I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Aw, oh, Sam. That squirrel's just like... <gasps> the food! Are donuts or bagels, whatever that is, safe for a squirrel to eat? We never know. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Okay, where's the best shot for this squirrel? I mean, many angles are pretty solid. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? Oh, I have to get the second one. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? How do I get you over there? Ah, use another piece of food. Get that food in your belly. I feel like the sky wants to get with us. Come on, little squirrel. You have to bring yourself over to the other side. So let's see, what is this? Sweet chalk. Just a chocolate piece of something. Oh, that, there he goes. Nice. Oh, look at the double squirrels. Squirrels are silly. I remember uh, <laughs> one of my last experiences directly with a squirrel. Except I guess I had a direct experience with squirrels earlier this year with RTX, or before RTX. But one of my favorite experiences with a squirrel was it, a squirrel just kind of like coming down from a tree, sitting in front of me, staring at me for like 10 seconds, and then just laying flat while still staring at me. <laughs> I'm like, uh... Uh... <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Squirrel? And it just keeps laying there. Maybe it was either faking dead, or maybe it just wanted to lay on the ground. I don't know. Eventually, I walked away, and I saw it run back up the tree, so... from those kids. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I... Uh oh Talk to me about the whales. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... 
They just cry. Are they crying now? <laughs> They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. <laughs> so next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Yeah, time. Mm. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Ah, yay, thank you, Miss Grant. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. Me neither, buddy. Really. <laughs> Hopefully we can find a way to actually stop the event from happening. And it's not just some 100% guaranteed thing. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Well, that kind of makes me feel a little bit better. I wonder if Rachel Amber has anything that we have, or that anything that we could use to stop a massive tornado! Probably not. Unless we find out she has time travel abilities too, and then she just wanted to give up, and that's why she let herself disappear. Ah. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. But I'm not in the Vortex Club in this reality. Thank God. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. What do you think about David? Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. No, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Me too, buddy. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I'm sorry. I better get going now. All right. Good to see you out and about, Max. Yeah, it's finally time to talk to Chloe about all this. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. And I miss her laugh when I bail off my board. She was probably high. Yeah, she had the sick nugs. 
True that. Okay, I have to bounce. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. So, do the boys actually live in this dorm too? Like on the higher up floor? It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Huh. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. I always just imagine no, I just this building. Have to find Nathan's room. I always imagine this building as just only girls, and then there was a separate, complete building for guys. It seems kind of pointless to have a place or a, a separated co-ed dorm thing if they're literally just a floor above you. Oh, nice. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always. And please be careful. Alright. So we know the room number thanks to Kate. Oh, Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Holy shit, guys. What are you doing to this map? <laughs> no homo! Huge penis! Knowledge is good. Not my circus, not my monk. What is up with these fucking guys? Hello there. What is going on? Here, oh nothing. Uh, I can't read the rest of that shit. All right. Evan, of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. The Vortex Club sucks ass. Love, Evan. <laughs> Apparently Logan missed this poster. Safety first, look before you lust. Always use protection and secure your future. Yeah, even Chloe believes in that. They have one more meeting left. So casual gamers, your time is over. Join Gamer Guys every week we play and analyze a new game. From COD to WoW, from strategy to shooters, game on. Fridays, Wexler Media Center, 7 p.m. Fuck that, I never join a gaming club. Oh, why, hello Trevor and Dana. I'm being a snoop. I can't hear anything. Darn it. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? <laughs> Bathrooms. Dorm think tank. Welcome black smell. Sit and shit. Right. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Uh, can I erase that? It's probably for Daniel, right? Uh... Jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. People are dicks in this place. Why? Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Can we tell that uh, Nathan Slate? Let's see. The Prescott's rule. Wow, that would have been easy to figure out. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Oh, look! Warren! Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. There is no unique pictures of reality! Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Bullshit. <laughs> Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, that's good. Sorry, Kate. The only one here, too. This can only be Nathan's room. Damn it! Alright, I know what's up. Break the thing, and then reverse time. That's not creepy at all. Okay. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. 
I just don't want there to be evidence of the things that happened. Joyce? Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into black while at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce, even I get into shenanigans, but I am trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Yeah. It is interesting. You, you hit adult, but you're still like, I'm a teenager. Whoa. What the hell is that? Dude, your room is very creepy. I can't even turn on, like, a light. Jeez. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk, or I'm gonna tell everybody what you did, and you're gonna pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Oh. Is this from... When all that shit was going down? I don't remember. I don't remember him taking a picture. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. And now the whales are dying! That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh, this is- okay. I get it now. I get it now. That's the picture of- oh, Chloe. I completely forgot about that happening. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. <laughs> Ray John, a teen parent guide to anger management. Well, at least they tried. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. All right, obviously we have to go over there to the computer to find out the crazy deets. But I'm looking at everything else so far. It's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. <laughs> this diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. And what does that bond part say? 6th day of June AD 2006. Aww. Max, that monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Yeah, especially if he's taking it with alcohol. Uh-oh. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe gift from from probably his father or even other people Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much these films all have a dark pattern oh man that dickhead stole one of my selfies oh geez if he's this into you very secretly it's like Nathan's mind <laughs> oh geez I'd cry, too, if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> Look at his dad. His dad looks like such a smug little shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious pate favorites. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it on fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. Vortex Club, October 2013, party hard, Kate's gone wild. You know what? This has a pretty, I'm assuming this is a like-dislike bar, that's a pretty sizable dislike ratio. I'm just saying. Oh man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk, if need be. Just make an appointment, any time. An appointment to talk to your dad? Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. Ugh. 
I need you calm and quiet while the pen estates is being developed. I know being a press god is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Oh, he has a sister? What? Tudo Bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's been going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented little bro got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of, of, of campus so I can live vic vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and your father's been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for your family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make sure you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better right back or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. Chris. You know, I do feel bad about Nathan. I mean, I feel bad about a lot of the characters, I guess, in this. But one of the very first things we ever heard Nathan said was that he didn't want to be controlled by people. And we're still just kind of getting him controlled by everybody. But you shouldn't point guns at people, you know? Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Could be for somebody else. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for your recent, uh, for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Black Bill. I know your father was upset, while well, I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracting from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, you know I'm always available to talk. Get the fuck out of here, Principal. <laughs> at least he eventually was like, okay, fuck it, you're too much. <laughs> you're suspended. So we just went through all of his computer and that was it? Nathan is way into this party. Too wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. What the hell? Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Where the hell? Okay, what about this projector? Yes. I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. I... Uh-oh. This couch moves! What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Something's behind this. Okay, let's move it. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Okay, so that's good. Now that I was have it. Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. All right, all right. So we checked out everything, right? We got the phone, the camera, or the the computer checked out. We've looked up at the projector, which has stopped showing creepy images because we used his computer. I should probably reverse time. Until it's showing projecting things again. You know how it is. Alright, where is this gonna happen now? Oh, we turned the MP3 player on. Okay, good. And now we can just leave. I am trying to erase cool. all evidence. Now it's open. And it's locked again. Alright, Nathan will know nothing. Whew! That went smooth! Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and... creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan! We got you by the balls, fucker. Uh-oh. What are you doing in my dorm?! 
You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Oh, the gun thing again? Oh! Get off me, bro! Oh. Stop Warren? Stay out of it? Mm, no, fuck that. I want to see Nathan get beat up, because he's just such a dick. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! Sorry! Yes, we have to go! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went Ooh. full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Mm. Shit, man. This really hurts. Oh, I'm sorry. Does that hurt? Well, it's almost like you're pulling guns on people and you shouldn't fucking do that. Let's see what happens if we leave him be. I... I'm 100% dedicated to letting him get beat up. <laughs> but if we can change things... I can't believe I didn't, like, rewind time and go, Shit, we should hide! Damn. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! <sighs> Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. What? You're not gonna give like a, oh no, but now he has his gun and his father. So the father coming here and him having his gun would be bad. Fuck that. Nope, nope. If there, there are a few choices I have to make in life that are hard. And I feel like Nathan needs to have a moment of crying to himself so he can be like, I should stop trying to be a dick to people. Oh, it's a hard choice though, because, I mean, obviously it's a moral dilemma. Should we beat him up after all the things that happened? He did get at least a couple of smacks in from Warren, so after that it's just like, okay, whatever. Uh, Warren got his, his smack backs. But, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, it's good to get the gun away from him. I... Schoidenfreud. <laughs> it's, it's good to see him get beat up and be like, Alright, you got it, you're getting what you deserved. Karma, boy! But, if he's super angry about getting beat up, and people ask questions and things like that, we could end up getting reverse karma by him being even more aggressive about the things that he does. Ah, oh, jeez, I fucking... I don't know. <laughs>